Hi guys, I'm out here at the tub and just looking at the uh, fish and checking them out. And I noticed over here in this tub where my Japanese blue tails are, we've got more frog eggs. See them right there? And uh, last time I, I didn't show, here's some more underneath. I didn't show how I pull them out. So this time I've asked my dad to hang on to the camera and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to get rid of these guys. So I've got a whole bunch of these eggs right here and I'm just gonna take a specimen container and just pull it over like that. And then I'm always checking to see if I got any fry in there, I don't, but I've got a whole mess of eggs. And so now I'm gonna take the eggs and I'm just going to dump them into my five gallon bucket and I'm going to just keep going through here's some more and the, the water just pulls them right in so it's super easy the trick is just finding them all over here we got a whole mess of them right in here so now I got a whole tub of them Here's a pile right here next to this water hyacinth. And I just scoop it out. And I've been doing this all summer long. I check every couple days. And here's a lot of them right around in here. I bet these are tree frogs because they're, they're really small eggs. Normally the eggs are a little larger and I think those are the leopard frogs. But uh, these are the, I think the tree frogs. But I don't want any frogs. I know people say that tadpoles don't eat fry. But once they get their legs, they start going carnivorous. And they will eat your fry. So, what I'm going to do is I'm putting them all in this five-gallon bucket. And then I'm going to give them to my sister. And she can dump them in her little uh, pond on her property. And either her bigger fish can eat it or they'll just grow up and be part of the system. But that's all I do, guys. I've already gotten rid of half the eggs in that short amount of time. So we'll talk to you in the next one.